We and back! We, we, we back. Uh, we, we indeed back. You know what time it is? It's time to kill some organics. You know, my watch says the exact yeah. same thing. Well, you know, some people who, who are just tuning in for the Directive 2.0 that didn't watch the Directive 1.0... Uh, feel like we're just a bunch of heartless bastards, but we're only doing what we were programmed to do. See, we here's were, the thing, though. Yeah. There's, there's, it's a different series, folks. It's yeah. a different age. It's the apocalypse. Yeah. Right? The first, if you want, like, a video representation of how Directive 1.0 went, watch any Mike Tyson <laughs> fight of his early <laughs> career and uh, assume his opponents are the war- are robots. It just right. Di- it just didn't go well. Um, but we better now, son. Yeah. But I mean, it'll... we figured it out. <laughs> I was gonna say, you know, in terms of those of you who weren't around the first time, uh, for the backstory, we were given a very simple directive to protect the home world. We just happened to believe the best way to do this was to get rid of all the. I is, mean, they uh, pollu- they were polluting the yeah, atmosphere. I mean, kill, kill any nukes, kill any non-rational being. Um, use their resources to shore up our defenses. Yeah, we know. have got to take that edict to... Let's see, capacity overload yeah. and map the stars. Let's keep those running. We have got to take that uh, that ascension perk to double yeah. the double the length oh, no. of edicts. I, I, I actually uh, I started up an offline game just trying to um, see how absolutely broken it yeah. is when you uh, focus on reducing influence cost of everything. And increasing edict length, then it is super broken. So, so I don't say I wouldn't say it's broken. You're giving stuff up to do it. Well, yeah, I mean broken in the sense that it's you really get a good. return on your investment. <laughs> oh, um, we can clear that last tile blocker. I'd say can. that is worth the price of admission. That is. Uh, let's see. This place is already filled. Our up. planets are like clean. That's awesome. <laughs> they are. They are pretty clean. They're they're looking. They're looking nice and spiffy. We've, yeah, we've. Um, let's see. Are we not building a pop down? I don't here? think so. We should be. Build them servitors, yo. Build pop. Servitor e two. Yeah, let's get uh, a. Yeah. Let's get these planets all populous and let's max our fleet cap out, shall we? Yes, I 100% agree. I'm trying to remember why last time we played, I was not complete. keeping up with building pops, and that's probably because we were drinking. Ah. Uh, society research gained. Our society is doing great. Our society <laughs> research. We're robots, yeah. but we're very cultured. Exactly. <laughs> we're extremely cultured robots. Which just goes to show, you know. Um, awesome. Okay, we have a new tech. Oh, yeah, that was the void cloud. I new tech. Like, what is this dude doing? Son. Naval combat. Now we really got to go after it. So, War Factory, Army Build Speed, I would consider that fairly low priority. I would, too. Uh, planetary Processor. Eh. Uh, Fleet Command Limit. That's uh, that's pretty cheap. We see. get that quick. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and grab it. And that would allow that first machine fleet to have more ships in it. I think that's Indeed a priority. Would. We're going to be taking a lot of... By the milli- way, the, the Ross Can memes have already begun to flow in hey, on Twitter. Hey, guys. <laughs> exterminate the organics oh man you know who wants to exterminate organics (laughs) the holiday armadillo (laughs) i'm sure he does i'm sure he does anyone who has ever who has ever been a parent or has been a relative of young children gets the holiday armadillo (laughs) they get it they just do yes research alternatives awesome so oh that's Disruptors. disruptors are really good now. Yeah, well, they should they be. They do 100% armor and shield penetration, so they don't have very high average damage, but they deal direct hole damage. One, we have a bunch of fire yeah. rate buffs, so that's awesome. Uh, the one thing I might think is really cheap that's a little bit Yeah, grab priority. it. Grab it. Because that's, so, that's so cheap, we'll have yeah. that in, like, what, a year? Yeah. Construction complete. And we'll get the, uh, we'll end up getting the uh, processor <laughs> faster that way. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. How's our unity doing, by the way? Like, in terms of uh, when's our see. next what unity perk? Yeah. 41 Oh, and we're, we are almost done with synchronicity, too. Yep. So we're, our edict length is coming. That's awesome. Yes. Oh, man. Corvette, Corvette hole points. More, our Corvettes are dang durable, man. Dang durable. So, 
Um, we could go Corvette build speed for nothing. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and take those cheap techs while we can. I, I agree. Here's the thing too. A lot of you're gonna be. A lot of people are gonna be saying validly. I will say it's like, why are you taking all these texts that I wouldn't take? We're exterminators. So. <laughs> Military techs that might not be high priority at all in other type of playthroughs are high priority for us. We have got to be able to outproduce and outlast. Frankly, we're preparing to outloose, outlast coalitions to, when we're going to be in like two and three on one fights. Oh, yeah. So having durable Corvettes, having cheap Corvettes, having Corvettes we can build quickly, this all helps. You know, we've got to be, we're, there are going to be times where we're going to have to be able to field forces faster than three other civs. You know, a federation. That ain't that ain't easy. No, it is not. See, but look at how fast this is going now. All right. Um, Animal Evolution Laboratory. Oh, that's just their version of the Alien Zoo. Okay. Yep. Um, Bio Lab. It's so cheap. Why not? It's so cheap. We don't. I mean, we don't really need society research for a lot of stuff, but it is. Useful but it, it's, for so, like, it's so. It's so. Anything that's under eight hundred, I would consider grabbing yeah. at this point. And we, we do need society research to increase our fleet cap. So what the hell are you doing? This is what has happened. This is hashtag Stellaris logic right here. The next closest system to survey in terms of number of jumps is this. And there's void clouds in the way, so our scientist has elected to go... I say let him go. This way. <laughs> I say let him go. I think I might queue up some manual orders here. Yeah, make him survey on his way. Yeah, because otherwise it's going to be... Uh, I We haven't found other aliens yet. We are just getting to dominate our corner of oh, the yeah. galaxy, which is we're, awesome. We're on like medium-ish number of empires. So Auxiliary fire. Can, improved deflectors should be a huge priority. Yeah, deflectors are pretty Well, good. it's the one thing we la we are lagging on a little bit is our shield tech. Yeah. Oh. And we can build mining stations here. Shoot, man, we almost got that we almost got that sweet yeah, sweet plus 100 a month minerals here, man. Start colonizing down south. Awesome. Okay, so we have destroyer got... build speed. Nice. Uh 2120, there might be a better call there. Um, we could grab some fusion missiles, because missiles are actually good now. Yeah, why not? I would definitely grab destroyer hull points, too, when oh, we yeah. can. Oh, yeah. Those, Durability is just going to be huge for us, I those, think. Those to, hull point techs are amazing. To protect our investment, really. Yeah. Uh, Engineering facility, physics lab there, I think. Is a physics tile. I usually just go based on what tile it's on and then get yelled at for not being efficient, and I don't really care. Is the thing. Research that okay. anomalous surface variable, my friend. All right, and now we have. Ooh. Terraforming does nothing. Nothing for. for I'm just saying, lots of alternatives here. Yeah. War factory refits. The ship upgrade cost and ship upkeep being lessened. That is good. That's going to be really very expensive, expensive but man, it's uh, good. I think we should go ahead and get colonial centralization for now. Yeah, probably. Because that will increase our unity and... Uh... Ship upkeep cost, in my opinion, is always worth it, though, when oh, yeah. we can afford it. It helps our ships I mean, actually stay at war longer. What I've found about Apocalypse so far is in the late game, it's not really a matter... Nice! Of, it's not really a matter of your... Um, yeah, let's fleet. research that. It's not really a matter of your fleet cap. Uh, it's more a matter of how many ships can you actually afford. Construction. Right. Like, with your energy income. Um... So, which again, once we have plus a hundred percent, plus hundred percent edict length, I don't think affording capacity overload is ever really going to be an issue Probably again. Not. Fascinating. Tons of society research. I like it. Um, yeah, man. Tons of society research. <laughs> yeah. Our society research is just kind of nuts. It's <laughs> pretty good. Oh, did we ever set a, um, I don't know if we ever set. We're going synchronicity and supremacy, right? Okay, yeah. So this is what will let us set a war doctrine. For some reason, I thought we went supremacy first. Fusion missiles. Improved structural integrity for defense platforms. Carrier operations. Antimatter missiles we could do. Hmm. We could do space torpedoes. We could do auto cannons, which we already oh, yeah, have a already bunch of. Yeah, do that. that. Auto cannons are good. I like auto cannons. I do too. Auto cannons are... Thematic. Remember, here's the thing to weapon. remember though. We get we get plus thirty-five percent weapon damage, but right now we have plus forty-five percent if those weapons are energy. 
We have we have a greater mm. All energy. Right. Weapon. All right. Yeah. It's loud, y'all. It's loud. Yeah, the problem is my my headphones have a an individual volume adjustment on them, and DMs do not. Complete. So I'm always having to like try to tweak it to get the game sound right. Construction complete. And so that you guys can hear. All right, man. Andreas well, Waldatov's amazing Stellaris. We're score. Uh, we're like yeah. loaded right now in terms of resources. We are. So yeah, might as well just queue up the rest of these pops. I I would. Oh yeah, Ross can is good to go. Yes, All it right. is. All right, and we can clear every so, tile blocker on this planet. Why wouldn't we? Why not? Um, let's go ahead and get an uplink node going. Got established con communications with the primary processing node first. That's always important. Disruptors. Uh, I would go disruptors now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Our tech cost is going up a little bit because we're colonizing, but that's okay. We have... Resources have been refunded. Corrupted units. Oh, it's pirates. All right, well, first machine okay. fleet. 627, 2.0K. Okay. Yeah, this isn't going to be hard. And uh, we can upgrade because we've researched disruptors and improved deflectors. And so after this, our fleet power is going to go up even more. Oh, yeah. Construction complete. Casey is upset about something. I just let it tick for a little while. Let our resources. All right. All right. So, uh, can you think of a thing that you should not have did, pirates? Probably. Um, just try just, to screw with the. Uh, yeah, just think of a think of a thing yeah. that you should not have did. Well, I mean, their programming is corrupted. We can't really blame them, right? I mean. Uh, some stuff, so some our stuff. first colony is like done. That's awesome. And we have synchronicity. Pro so uh, edict length, I think. Yep. There that, we go. That we we need that because our economy is dependent on capacity overload. Also because we will need that influence to make claims on other empires. Um. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Fleet has no. Casey's wanting to go eat snow on the it's deck. It's like five degrees. She's already been out there like three when times the, today. When the sun goes down, you regret that decision immediately. Yeah. We open the door and you don't go out. <laughs> You're yep. like, that is not how that was supposed to go down. No. Oh, man, are we just... There uh, we go. Awesome, aggressive trait. That's Pirate perfect. Pirate station rated. That's perfect, man, the aggression trait. I like it. I like getting aggressive. Does that still do what it did in the last Lars check? Uh, aggressive is fire rate and sublight speed. Oh, nice. We've also oh. met some IOTA aliens. This may well be organics. Let's see. Oh, they're already hostile. No, they are crystalline entities. All right, well. <laughs> That's the thing about when you played enough Stellaris. It's like, oh, yeah, I wonder what that is. Special project. Um, uh, you want to blow them up? I, I do, though. I really hate them. Let's blow them up. They don't... I mean, I don't know if they're technically organic, but we shouldn't really take a chance. <laughs> yep. You know, they could be. What? Oh, we lost, uh, we lost a scientist, it looks like. Something's Did wrong we? with engineering. Oh, we just need to select a new engineer. Okay, um, we could go cruisers. That, uh, we certainly could... I mean that puts our fleet in mid game level. I would I would probably go for engineering facility first though because it's twice as cheap and uh, yeah go. It'll help us get cruisers faster. All right, let's look at our uh, let's look at our military situation now. Everything's like upgraded. Yeah, we're just we kind of have remember to keep building pops on these planets. Let's say build him a lab. Oh hey. Control center. Do we have one of those on the capital yet? Or is that a new tech that we just got? I think it might be new. Let's see. Can we put a control center down here? We can. Sweet. And why wouldn't we? Why indeed. Let's uh, go ahead and start rolling those out. Uh, Unity's about to go a little nuts, y'all. Yes, it is. Unity is a thing that we enjoy. 
Well, now we're going down the supremacy tree. Right at the same time, we're shocking, militarizing. Yeah. Military alert. Tile blocker expunged. Awesome. Awesome. We got some tile blockers removed from Ross Can. Yeah. So now Ross can walk freely without any tile blockers in his way. Bam, no more energy. Yeah. But as soon as we got all the tile blockers done on that, we can kind of just go nuts. Upgrade that. Upgrading the fleet with the shit. latest Our shit. All right, now let's look at a and we reinforce fleet. There we, we go. Start to reinforce it at least, yeah. Some destroyers. Yeah, we're going to be ready. When the when we encounter uh, organics here, we're gonna be we're gonna be ready. By the way, did I? Yes, I built this correctly. Technological acquisition successful. Nice, nice. dude. We got disruptors. Hyperdrive three. We could go. Improve. That is super fucking expensive, though. I would probably I I like getting the labs first, just because yeah. you get more tech in the long run. Planetary. Yeah, I can see. I can see the logic. I just don't like waiting for hyperdrive, and like when yeah. you start upgrading your hyperdrive, it's like, ah, now my forces can get where I'm sending them faster. Yeah. Although sublight has as much to do with that now as, uh... True. That is a true statement. As, uh... What's it called? This guy needs a lab. Our construction ship needs to be building some stations. Which he now can. Just moments, moments ago. So I think we should probably lock this down just so we don't get any pirates. I completely agree. And then from there, we can just kind of see how things go. We actually, once this fleet is reinforced, we can probably Casey, take out stop the void it. clouds. Casey, lay down. Construction. We're trying to wipe all organic life from the galaxy. Lay down. You're organic. Take the hint. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, fair. <laughs> That's fair. That's an existential <laughs> argument. I, I buy an existential <laughs> argument. Construction complete. Move, move some bots around a little bit here. Yeah, and we can now uh, finish making that completely habitable. All right. Modification points would be good oh, right now. Yeah, absolutely. That's one that I always take first when I'm playing a machine empire. And we can upgrade well, the shit out of with, our With classes. modification points, we could go plus 10% energy credits and plus 10% minerals and completely transform our economy. Oh, yeah. Like, completely transform it. Society wow. research. Monthly influence uh, would be really good. Yeah, why wouldn't we? Uh, what's the difference between these? Probably because that gives us plus 10 planetary unity. Would be the only reason I wouldn't take the influence right now. Yeah, we have plus five influence. Yeah. Go unity first. Yeah, we're over. We're over. The max is a thousand, so it's not like we're hurting for it right at the moment. Well, and our edicts are now double length. Yeah. All right. That was a mandatory one. To, our our economy is completely dependent on capacity overload. So yeah. making it last twice as long made all the sense in the world, from my interpretation. Although. Looking at our surplus right now, by, by the time all these uh, bots are finished building, we might not be dependent anymore. We might have uh, achieved energy independence. True. Construction complete. All right. So, I'm going to have you build us another starbase outpost. And uh, the fleet looks like it's uh, about reinforced, yeah? They Can we are... reinforce it further? No, we can't. Can't afford to. Yeah, just, we need one more destroyer to get them up to 30, so we might as well wait for that. I think it costs like 300 Yep, well, there you go. All right. There we go. And uh, then send them after mm -hmm. the void cloud, or the crystal entities and the void clouds and stuff, and just watch it go. That That's These a tough might, battle. Yeah, that might be a tough battle. We could definitely take on the void clouds at this stage. What is this Look at our actually? unity. Our unity almost doubled. That's awesome. We were oh, plus yeah. 30 something and now we're plus 54. It is uh it is good to see because another as, ascension perk quick would be so yeah. awesome. As we expand more our um our uh traditions are going to get a little bit more expensive uh, cuz it's partly based on 
the number of systems and the number of colonies that we control. So, yeah, but here's the yeah. thing. Supremacy is the last one that we're like racing to yeah. get down. After that, unity becomes kind of a luxury. We've been kind of sprinting to get through these first three trees. Yeah. Because well, once you're once you're through them, your sieve kind of transforms. Honestly, I think once we get to a point where we have two good choke points, we can probably stop expanding. Because um, building tall is a totally a valid strategy. So, like, once we get down here, yeah. that's a good choke point system. If we expand out any further than that, we're having become, to def defend yeah, one additional system. It becomes a harder to guard. Um, up this way... We're almost there, too. We've got a lot of room to expand until we run into someone. We could technically get... Probably about there. Yeah, maybe up to here, oh, no, even. Yeah. But I assume we'll probably run into another empire. Oh, absolutely. I would be. I would be legit. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. oh yeah, we got a battle going on. Let's uh let's watch it. Watch it go. Oh jeez. That is uh called your shields just got melted. Yeah. And now we're not even taking losses against these things. There we go. Uh we lost one destroyer, which I think we can replace immediately. And repair. And you guys can go back and repair. We're going to get uh, our science ship. Actually, let's just build another science ship. We can afford it. Oh, absolutely. One for each direction. End of the galaxy. Ah, day to be remembered. Damage to void cloud. Well, we suffered heavy casualties, one destroyer. <laughs> We've overcome one of the galaxy's most terrifying enigmas. Uh, so Plus 10% damage to void cloud. Renders okay. them trivial because we melted them anyway. Yeah. And Any look, damage buff at that point is almost unfair. Planet here. Planet here. So this one's size 21. Ooh. That's well, we're not going to be governing it, I don't think. It will be our first sector. Yeah, it'll be a sector, but... Uh, uh, oh. All right. Complete. Gotta maintain that discipline of building more pops. Don't ever want to stop building pops, because the organics are breeding, as you well know. <laughs> You organics do what you do. Yeah. Oh, failure. That uh, hasn't happened in a while. But we don't really give a shit about the Erassian Concordance, so... You know, in that sense, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, Alright, new Shoot. science ship is going to be popping out pretty soon. And then we have to research a scientist, oh. or recruit a scientist to put on it, right? Yes, we do. We should have oh. plenty of room. All right. Ooh. Power Ooh. plants, energy nexuses. That's all good. It is all good. Um, actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, plus... Tracking and chance to hit. And we're investing in all yeah. these techs so early. You know what I mean? We're yeah. gonna We're going to be more than a match for the first organic sieve we hit. We're also, if you can't tell, preparing ourselves to be able to go to war immediately with the first organics we oh, yeah. yeah. Not even really give them a chance to breathe. Technological acquisition successful. You've oh my gosh, this is un... A lot of stuff to spend. Plus 10% unity okay. output. Okay, uh... Defense armies, like, we're not planning on getting invaded, so that's not... Empire that leader capa That's yeah. always a good idea. Especially because we have a new science ship that needs a leader. So yep. we are going to recruit... Oh. Oh. Oh, um, all good. Yeah. That's all probably good. probably the best one. Okay, so you go research that debris from the void cloud and survey the system. Oh, and, and more... more stuff, man. Yeah. More tech. Oh, yeah. Okay. Supremacy, uh, So we are going to adopt supremacy, which increases our starbase capacity and reduces our starbase upgrade cost. I like it. These are things that are uh, positive. We'll get cruisers here soon. We can start uh, upgrading our network junctions. Oh, we need to get research. Ripper cannons, destroyer build speed, fleet commit, all that is good. All of that is good. Yeah, why don't we just go Yeah, go ahead and get it. Yep. That, I, I'm really, I'm relatively confident that that puts our fleet really ahead of the game. If we can yeah. start, it's not even mid-game. System survey. 
It's not. It's only we're only sixty years in right now, so technological acquisition successful. Magnetic field. Oh yeah, that's right. This it has two modifiers that don't affect us whatsoever, but give us a bonus. Oh, tech up. We got all kinds of tech going on, man. Got tech going on. Um, that's. Do you want to grab core sector systems just so we don't have to create a sector just yeah, yet? Yeah, I think that's good. That's probably uh, probably going to be pretty helpful. We have a science ship doing nothing. Acquisition successful. We also have a homeless pop. Build. Lab. We've got auxiliary, auxiliary fire, fire control. control, antimatter reactor. We could go ahead and get. Complete. Let's see. I'm just gonna start going for the cheapest thing. On each. Uh... Okay, so he's kind of stuck. He can't really go anywhere else up here. Yep. So you can just put him on auto explore and send him down this way. Oh yeah, we don't need capacity overloads anymore. Look at that. Map the stars, we probably want to keep that. Ooh, production down. targets, maybe? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Keeps things moving. Keep it moving. Complete. Who can keep it moving? Ross can. There is so much goddamn society research down here <laughs> that is, like, not of any use to us at all. Eh. I mean, there's some society bonuses yeah. that apply. Actually... We probably want an engineering facility on most of these places. I think we're doing all right. Yeah. All right. Right on. Just, just upgrading. Upgrading, building pops. Our our economy is psychotic at the moment. <laughs> hey, we have machine mod points too. Did that pop up yet? Yep. Oh. Well, we should work on that real quick. Servitor V2, we are going to modify your template. Um, trait points. It says we have zero trait picks left. I think we got to get remove one then. Yeah. Now we have zero trait points. Yeah, we had to use our machine mod point to eliminate a bad one to get more room for a good one. It's how it goes. I see. Okay, so we need at least one more of those. Ship fragments dissected. Nice. Good deal. I like when we dissect ship fragments. We're almost to that plus 100 a month. Uh, I just love how chill the advisor is, the uh, machine advisor. Oh, and we have tech again. Core sector systems. That's uh, This is going pretty berserk in our favor. We get more yeah. core sector systems if we want. Battle um, frame army. Large bipedal warbots that are surprisingly fast and mobile given the heavy armaments they carry. Max. They are quite intelligent and renowned for the insidious tactics they often employ. Max. That's just too cool. Yeah, Max. RP wise, we've got to take that one. Yeah, we have Max. We are failing in our job as a. Uh, Max. <laughs> machine conquerors if we do not take that. Max. successful. Oh, more tech. Our tech is at this point. It's just it booming. Um, uh, looks like see. UV lasers. UV lasers. Or we could get cloud lightning conduits. Well, let's see. That fits a large ship. 100% are... Okay, so this is a nut. So cloud lightning has gotten a huge buff because it deals direct Yeah, we damage. want it. That'll go right on our cruisers, I that would is, think. That is nice. That'll go that right on noise. our cruisers, I would think. That is noise. N-O-I... Noise. Wow, our unity has just gone berserk here recently. Construction complete. We're also like, we've got a ton of science. Like, for complete. where we are. I can't game. wait until we meet a sieve so we can see what's going on. I feel like this might be one of the yeah. fastest starts I've ever seen. I'm not sure how much of that is the fact that we're playing machines and how upgrade. much of it is. Uh... Oh, corrupted units, where? Okay, yeah. They, they've basically made them into a constant nuisance at this point. So, I didn't read what system it was, so we'll probably have to... Go wait, find it. ...see where they pop up. I love how many minerals we're getting per turn. Let's see. Construction complete. Where are they? They're either going to be in... Fear Mothrias or Tews. 
Those are the only two places they really could have spawned. Construction. Let's, uh... I just really wish that, you know, they would have maybe patched that code out by now. Let's, uh... Like, what is the central build processing? Build some ships, man. Doing? Like, we All have... Right, let's go... Let's see. Oh! Did we just get... We just got more the, engineering Okay, tech. we just got the tech that I was waiting for. Um, so Destroyer yeah. hull point sounds like a good one to me. That is a good one. I mean, Let's... this is all just investment protection. All right, we gotta so, upgrade our uh, we gotta upgrade our starport first in order to build cruisers. Not anymore. Oh, all right. Actually, yeah. Um, so I was doing some reading on. Good fleet ratios. So let's throw add ship design to fleet cruisers in here. Ooh, and that is the most we can, we can put in this fleet. Put in, yeah. So that will be our new. The 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 word is at the moment that Corvettes kind of suck. Um, they still have a situational role as torpedo ships um, for taking out very large targets that cannot track them. Um, but overall, well, we just deleted Corvettes. That's unfortunate. No, that's that's exactly oh. what I was saying. Okay. Yeah. Slick. Yeah, Corvettes are not that good in this patch so far, based on what I'm seeing on all kinds Reddit of engineering, <laughs> all kinds of unity. Yeah. It's oh my gosh, our plus seventy unity. We have we have a shit. The most I have ever gotten to is plus a hundred and thirteen unity. Yeah. Uh, we should probably start buffing our mineral income. Is what I think is actually just to well, if we're we're uh, it'll help us build all the other shit faster. Yes, I agree. Um, Construction complete. We can build an energy grid because those will we eventually have tech. give us unity. Construction complete. We have tech. Battle frame armies. We can go naval capacity. We can go ship upgrade costs and ship upkeep. We can go monthly. Yeah, influence. let's go up, grab the influence one. Yeah, plus six influence. Oh my goodness. All without factions. What are you doing slash not doing? Go. That's where the pirates are. I think. Is it? Maybe. Nope. 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 Well, wow. There's something here. Oh, it's the Enigmatic Fortress. We have a midterm goal, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, son. We need son. to blow that thing open and take its tech. As machines. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Well, let's get after it. Our ships are just going to be absurdly powerful. Yeah. Like, it, can't, it can't go any further because of the right. Enigmatic Vault. All right. So we've got we've to gotta go after and that. And there's two worlds there, one of which is size 19. Well, let's... uh. We have we are making more minerals per month than we almost know what to do with. Let's build a little taller and yeah. uh, get going on this. That is uh, that is our current the current directive is to examine the enigmatic fortress because we can't find organics. Um, I feel like our yeah. machines are almost like a little disappointed. Be like, like what's going on, man? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, where but, are the organics? Yeah, I was promised organics. Yeah. Let's see, building some power plants. And some mineral processing, right? Yeah, there, we've already got it queued up down there. Um, do we have a... We don't have one down here yet, so we'll replace this. Oh, maybe we do. Oh, yeah, we do have an energy grid. Never mind. Technological oh, two techs right. trigger at once. Awesome. Cloud lightning. Go, cloud lightning. Go and zap their holes. Cloud lightning. That uh, is a, a four out of ten. I get that. <laughs> I didn't. I did not hate that that's, as much as you think I would, but I did hate it. That's better. That's better than I would have expected. That's, that's what I would. Say. I, did, I don't hate that as much as you would think I would hate that, but uh, I hated it. If if I had had to guess what you would give that, four out of ten would have been like on the high end. I've been in Greece. You can't hate that much when you've been in Greece. <laughs> All, All right. right. I did not sing that song. I did not play Kaniki, but I wished I did. Oh, there you go. There's no such thing as small parts, DJ. Only small people. <laughs> Synthon. Sounds great. Only small people. Synthon sounds like a product that could potentially be marketed to, Little girl, you know, do 1950s you know who I mean? teenagers. Pretty soon you'll be 17, which is a creepy thing to lead a song with, I now realize yeah. in hindsight. Uh, all right. Yeah. Wow. Wow. 
That's not going to help us just yet. Just all, like, just... That's not going to help us ever, so this is probably the best. All of this is useful, yeah. though. Except for unrest. Well, I guess it'll prevent the organics from rising in rebellion well, we while, purge them. while they are being processed. Yes, while we purge them. <laughs> let's, okay, let's look at this. All right, let's look at this RP Here's wise, my advice, quick. too. My energy, our energy is start, monthly energy is starting to hurt, even though we're accumulating. I'd capacity overload. Construction complete. Let's see. What is our current? Yeah, we could run a capacity overload right now. We've got, we've got it. To yeah, it's spare. twenty. It, twenty years. I. Uh, oh yeah, it's gonna be twenty. Twenty three years now. Yeah. Actually. See. So. Bam. Why not? Now we're gonna max out. Um, wow! Okay. All this stuff. Wow. Uh, we've already got progress towards coil gun. Four months. Four months. <laughs> I'm surprised that we haven't just stumbled on to figuring out how to build those yet. All right, I I say, man, it's it's about time to start getting ready to, you know, build this fleet. We got a vault to take care of, man. True. Oh, that is true. Tech. Tacking up. Monthly influence. See, and that triggers right as we do a capacity overload. We get one more core sector system, so we can colonize this technological this little dude down here. Oh, coil guns. coil guns. We could go hulls. We could go destroyer build speed. Yeah, I'd feel can... much better having. 400 extra cruiser hull points before we take on that fortress. I think these hull points techs are worth taking on because they just defend your investment. Yeah. Right? Completely. Like this those those upgrades as we take them, those are those could make thousands of minerals of difference. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're we are overall we're building pretty tall, actually. What um What ascension perk are we gonna take next? Worth thinking about. Well, as let's we accumulate take a look. some resources, I don't know which ones will be uh, illuminated. illuminated. Um, Galactic force projection, we probably should take. Yeah, we yeah. should. Um, Interstellar dominions becomes pretty strong eventually. Eternal vigilance would be nice if we run into the situation we uh -huh. did in Directive One Point. But we won't. Plus five defense platforms. Uh, a fully upgraded defense platform normally has a capacity of 17, so plus 5 turns that into 22, which is a lot. Of firepower. <laughs> like yeah, a lot it's of a firepower. Lot. Uh, you need a whole fleet to craft that basically, if you built yeah. it smart. In my other game, I'm in about 2400 or something like that, and my fully upgraded star bases have a fleet power on their own of 9.6k. Oh, wow. So Tech... Plasma Tekken, throwers. Tekken. We could go um, UV lasers instantly UV if we want to. Oh, combat algorithms, though. Yes. That's the most expensive. Yeah, but, but look yeah, at what they not? do. We're trying to get strong to <laughs> crack the vault, though. Yeah. And upgrading our combat computers, it's a gift that keeps on giving. It is. Build a pop. You know you it's want to. Build, building the pop. Let's just queue up some pops. We got the money. Yeah, let's max out this planet. <laughs> All right, now we don't need to worry about building any more pops down here. That's awesome. So we do need to continue to worry about building pops down here. We could queue up pops on every single square on this planet. We have the minerals. You know what? So we can just start focusing on ships. You gotta this do is, it. This is the noob strategy in StarCraft where you build like six barracks and like queue up a marine at every single barracks. <laughs> but you know what the efficiency is we haven't enc we haven't encountered any yeah. like opposition yet is the thing yeah so the 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 urge to the ur the urge to just be done with our planets okay. is strong especially because we're about to colonize another one <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly um that only shoot. used up like half of our money <laughs> uh, you can upgrade 